Chris over at Dixieland Farm doing a scientific experiment for you, the people. So every year you've got to wait for Girl Scout cookies. You've got to deal with the Girl Scout Mafia, which is like a whole process. It's the Green Sash Mafia. Yeah, and like, you know, it's you got this weird layaway thing where you pay and then you get the cookies eventually. And, and it's terrible because the cookies are good and you, and you want them. Yeah, so Caramel Delights. That's the only uh, one... Uh, Samoas. I don't care if they have a new name. They will always be Samoas. Samoas are the best ones. Uh, I actually like them uh, refrigerated, but not refrigerated is fine also. So, to my surprise, I found out that Keebler makes the same damn cookie. That's right. They're taking a bite out of a Big Girl Scout. And I don't want to support kids, you know, so why buy these when I can support a a good wholesome corporation like Keebler. Made by Monsanto. Yeah, to be honest, they're probably made by the same factory. Same bakery. We're gonna find out though. So let's uh let's open these up. Let's take a look. Let's do a taste test. Or maybe do a blind taste test. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get a fork to blind you, but it's worth <laughs> it for science. My eyes. Right, so the uh, Girl Scout cookies come in this uh, foil package. So that way you can feel like you're opening up a golden ticket. As you know these, we also know that you can't leave a row uneaten. That's, so if you dip into the next row, you have to go to the you've bottom. got to finish the row. All right, coconut dreams. I don't know. They look pretty, pretty simple. <laughs> the same damn it's cookie. The same cookie. They're the same All right, damn hold on. thing. Let's start with visually. All right. I'm just gonna take one out and I'm gonna put it on the counter. That's the Girl Scout. Caramel Delight Samoa, and this is the Keebler. All right, so uh, maybe slightly darker and less coconut, but... Uh, Thicker chocolate stripe. Yeah, okay, all right. So. All right, let's look at the, the back of it. We've got yeah, maybe a little bit darker chocolate. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, good to go, right? Okay. Whichever one it is is good. Hold on. Tastes like the Girl Scout cookie like I remember, but... Number two. Alright. I'm gonna say the first one was the Girl Scout cookie. Which one did you prefer? They are very similar. It's the same same thing. That it, it might actually just be a slight texture issue, not a taste issue. The first cookie seemed a little softer. Okay. Like uh, easier to, you know, kind of crumbly chew. Mm -hmm. And the second one was a little bit firmer. I don't know if that was the chocolate was thicker or if it was the shortbread part of the cookie that was a little thicker. Taste-wise, same cookie. Number two was a Girl Scout cookie. The, and I did think number one was the slightly, maybe a little better because I like the texture a little bit more. Oh, oh, snap. Take that. Big Girl Scout. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Roll it around in your mouth a little bit. Slight vanilla in the cookie. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Number. <laughs> number two. A little. Um, Stronger on the caramel. Number two is the Girl Scout. Number two was the Girl Scout cookie. But could yeah. you really tell much of a difference Not between much. them? I did prefer two. Yeah. You liked the Girl Scout cookie better. Yeah. All right, so now. The cookie was a little, um, a little better. Yeah. But, but not by much. Okay. We got the uh, kind of a blooming. Mm hmm. Yeah, the. It's a little bit of a bloom on the chocolate, it looked like. 
not enough difference to warrant an extra two double, down, price. double price. And I think fewer cookies. Fewer cookies. And um, supporting the uh, children mafia. Very little of the cookie money goes to the actual troops. To the to the girls to the you know the the troop that the girl that you bought the cookies from most of it goes back to the organization. Yeah, so if you want to say no to girls and their future, which I do, go for the Keebler. You're better off just making a donation directly to the troop rather than buying you, their you, overpriced you terrible cookies. Well. What what is this? It was a shoddy Girl Scout craftsmanship. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't see any slightly irregular. So you're going to say yes to the elf. Pro tip, put them in the freezer, crumble them, you know, cut, you know, break them into pieces, and then sprinkle them into pancakes. What do you say, Walt? Mm -hmm. You can't eat chocolate. No, you can't. So... Another Dixieland Farm Consumer Reports. We've uh, we've busted this myth. 